So this is just a quick test of the iFlight gimbal motors with the open source gimbal controller um, that you can get off eBay. Um, a couple other vendors sell it um, from China and um, some guys on the forums have been doing some runs of them. Um, about 50 bucks with the sensor. Um, so here is the iFlight 4008 motor. Um, kind of spec for uh, 400 to 800 gram cameras, kind of the NEX 6 and, and 7 size range. Um, it'll certainly do smaller stuff though. Um, and you can see as I bring the sensor into frame and tilt it, we can manipulate how the motor turns. So this will eventually actuate one of the axes on um, our brushless gimbal. You can see that the motor is pretty smooth. Um, I was not really sure what to expect, um, but I'm pretty satisfied with the kind of motion that we're getting from this. Of course, you know, uh, we'll get this hooked up to a gimbal and, and report back. Um, just a little bit about my setup. Um, got the sensor uh, right here on a long lead. Um, and that goes to the f um, gimbal controller. And if you guys have any questions about how to wire this up, um, just you know, comment on the video or, or send me an email or something, and uh, I'll help you guys out because it's uh, it's pretty easy. But if you just look at it for a second and don't really have any um, electronic skills, it can be a little intimidating. Um, then I have the uh, motor output hooked up right here to my motor and then this guy is the power outlet um, and that's just going to the power to a three cell battery and I just have it plugged into the uh, the balance taps. I just soldered some um, wires to a male header and uh, put that in the balance tap and uh, you know that seems to be working okay for the testing but uh, when I go over to a gimbal setup I'm going to um, refrain from using that just because I think that we're going to have, well, I want to give these motors as much power as they can get, and uh, so it would probably be better um, to go through the flight connector, in this case an XT60. Um, so, uh, the motors that I um, are testing are the iFlight iPower 4008 and the 2212. Um, those are also coincidentally available on my website, Multicopter Northwest. Uh, we have them right here and uh, you can go to our website right there and uh, pick them up. Alright, if you guys have any questions, uh, email me. You can go to the Contact Us form on my website and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, or just comment on the video and 